So up until now we've mainly been discussing independent events when it comes to probability. So for instance we've been discussing what happens when we toss a coin. We might toss a coin say two times. And if we toss a, toy, a coin two times we might ask what is the probability of getting two heads? And we say that the probability of getting two heads is the probability of getting a heads on the first throw multiplied by getting the probability of getting heads on the second throw. And we know that the probability of getting heads with a fair coin is a half. So here we'd get a half times a half. And so we'd come to the conclusion that it's a quarter. That's the probability of getting two heads given we toss a fair coin two times. So the reason this, this is an independent event is that the probability, this second probability we have here, this second probability of, of, of tossing a heads on this coin isn't changed by the outcome of the first event. So the probability of tossing heads is half, uh, and that's regardless of whether we toss a head or a tail uh, during the first time that we toss the coin. So this is not always the case, as we'll see in this video when we'll have a look at a dependent event. Imagine you go into a casino, and at the casino there's a man there, and the man says that he has a bag. And inside the bag, he shows you, and he tells you, that there are five different balls. There are three green balls, and there are two red balls. And there's a game. Uh, and the game that he has set up is that you, uh, anyone who wants to play this game, what they do is they reach their hand into this particular container, this bag, and without looking they draw two balls. So they draw two balls. It means they just pick two balls and they can't see what balls they're picking. And the game is that if you get two green, if you get two green balls, you win a prize. You win. And the man has asked you to calculate for him the probability of someone drawing two green balls. Now there's an important, uh, there's an important part of this game. The first game is, uh, the, the, the important part is when you draw the first green ball, you don't then replace, you don't then put that green ball back into the bag. Instead, once you've drawn that green ball, that green ball remains outside the bag while you draw the second green ball from the bag. That's going to become important in a moment. So you've been asked to calculate the, prob the probability of drawing two green balls. And the question is, how, how do we go about doing that? Well, in a similar way to what we did up here, which was in order to calculate the probability of getting two heads, we calculated the probability of getting a head and then the probability of getting another head, we're going to do something similar here. Let's examine the probability of getting a green ball the first time. So if you reach in, and you draw a green ball, what's that probability? Well, there are three green balls and there are five balls all together. So the probability of getting a green ball is three over five. That's pretty simple. Now, imagine that green ball is out of the bag now. So this green ball is out of the bag. Imagine that you reach back into the bag and you draw out another ball. What's the probability of getting a green ball this time? Well, you might think before it was 3 over 5, so it's going to be 3 over 5 here again, but that's not true because this green ball is no longer in the bag. So actually, on this second draw, when you reach into the bag, the probability of getting a green ball is 2, there are 2 green balls here, out of 4 balls. So it's going to be 2 over 4. So the probability of, getting two, of picking 2 green balls is 3 over 5 times 2 over 4. Now 2 over 4 is the same as half, so this is 3 over 5 multiplied by half. Multiplying through, we get 3 over 10. Uh, let's just write this in a decimal. That's 0 0.3, or another way of saying that is 30%. So in other words, if, if you were to repeat this experiment or this, this game a gazillion times, 30% of the time, you would expect that you would indeed pull two green balls out of this bag. Now what's interesting about this example is that this second probability is 2 fourths, not 3 fifths. So this second possibility here uh, of, of, of drawing a second green ball from the bag, that's actually dependent on the outcome of the first event. Let's, let me do that in a different color. So this is dependent, this probability here is dependent on what we first got. Uh, so for instance, if we'd picked out a red ball on our first try, the probability of picking out a green ball would be different. Uh, Let's examine that, like let's examine that once we picked out one, imagine that we, we pick out one red ball on the first time. So this is the probability that we pick out a red ball and then a green ball. 
So here the probability of picking out a red ball on our first try, you've got to imagine that there are, there are you know, imagine this, this yellow cross isn't there anymore. So the probability of pulling out a red ball is going to be 2 over 5. That's because there are 2 red balls and 5 green balls. Let's redraw this bag. So imagine that we've got 3 green balls and 2 red balls. So here, imagine that we reach into the, the bag, we've got five balls, two red balls and three green balls. So let's imagine that we pick out one red ball first time. Well, what's the probability of picking a green ball now? Well, there are four balls here and three of them are green. So it's going to be three over four. In other words, this probability here of picking out a green ball, it's dependent on the outcome of, uh, of, the, of the, the first draw. So here we've got two different probabilities for picking out a green ball. So this experiment, what, what they also, what they often call, what people often call this experiment is they'll, they'll say this is without replacement, without replacement. So if you're ever facing questions where you have balls in a bag and it says without replacement, what this means is that once you draw the first ball out of the bag, you don't then replace the ball in that bag and draw out a second ball. Let's have a quick look at what it would be if it was with replacement. With replacement is different. With replacement means that this is a different game. Imagine that your casino man is, uh, is asking you for the probability of a, of a different game. And this game, what you do is you pick out a ball and then you, you, you look at that ball and then you put that ball back in the bag and then you pick out another ball or potentially the same ball. We don't know, but either way, you, you, you pick out a, a ball from the bag a second time, but you're replacing the ball after the first draw what would be the probability of getting two greens then? Let's have a look, green and green. So let's, let's redraw our bag. We'll redraw it here this time. Uh, again, we've got three green balls and two red balls. So in our first draw, what is the probability that we'll get a green ball? Well, there are three green balls and five balls all up. So that's gonna be three over five. So we take one of these green balls out and then we look at it and then we put it back in the bag. So then we, then we reach into the bag again and we draw out a ball. What's the probability this time that we'll get a green ball? Well, it's three out of five again because there are three green balls in this bag. So the probability is three over five. So if we multiply through, that's gonna be nine over 25. And if we have a look at that on a calculator, we'll get 0 0.36. In other words, 36%. So notice that the outcome here, 30%, is. This is the, the experiment without replacement. That's different from the same game if we have it with replacement. So the with replacement is an in, it makes these events independent and means the second event is not dependent on the outcome of the first event. Whereas for dependent events, uh, the reason we call them dependent, dependent is that the probability of, an, of one event in our experiment is at least one event is dependent on another event in our experiment. So watch out for that when you're doing questions.